How do we figure out this market? Are you driving yourself crazy looking at things in the short term or should you be zooming out to try and make sense of what's to come in the end of this year and the start of next year? We'll find out today on Real Talk. Today we have my dad, Drew Wolcott, the starter of the Wolcott team here. Thanks for coming on. Thank you, Peter. Uh, you've been obviously in real estate for a long time and you've seen a few tough markets like this. Now that we're coming into December, the end of the year, where do you see things going for, well, the end of this year and the beginning of next year? What's your prediction? Well, the market has been, it has been challenging the last several months. I don't think you need to look farther than beyond your forehead to see how, <laughs> how bruised the realtors have been and, uh, and, how, tough it's, <laughs> and how tough it's been for clients. Um, so there's been, you know, declining number of sales and declining prices, I guess, since about March. Now, uh, you know, generally, if you look at the long-term trend, you find answers as to where things are likely going. So if you look at the price point trend over the last, you know, 40 years, and if you look at the volume trend over a similar period, you're going to see that, um, you know, a real aberration occurred from February to now and yes. prices drop precipitously. But if you draw a straight line across the trend, you'll see that we're back to where we should be actually on that chart. And Without generally- the craziness. Yeah. Exactly. And those things, you know, as you move farther away in time, they appear smaller and smaller. They seem like calamitous events at time of. Exactly. So it seems like we're back trending towards the norm. And that means that it, it appears as though if you follow the chart, if you're a chartist, um, we'll resume our, our, our sort of normal trend, which is, you know, increasing volumes from where we are and, and uh, increasing prices. So prices generally, as you know, increase on the average of 4 or 5% annually. Um, you know, we dropped, depending upon which market you were at, 20, 20 30, 25%. Yeah, even as much as 40%. You have other variables there that are going to impact on the market. Um, you know, the federal government just announced over the last couple of weeks that by 2027, they, there will be 1.5 million immigrants yes. new to the country. Um, generally, in Canada, we build about 265,000 houses. So that's something like 500,000 a year that obviously is going to upset the supply demand equilibrium. You also have this dynamic of um, over the last several months, well, since February, I suppose, February, March, dramatically reduced volumes. So not that many sales have happened, but all the reasons why people move are still there. So, you know, how long can you live in that apartment now that you've had a child? How long can you exactly. waylay your retirement plans? All these real life reasons um, have been waylaid and suborned because people are trying to figure out what's going on with the economy. And those, so I, my point is that I believe that there's a lot of pent up demand that you're gonna see uh, enter, into the, enter into the marketplace. Um, Zucasa just polled uh, 1,800 Canadians, 1,800 Canadian buyers. 61% of them said that in the near term, and I think by the near term they mean within a year, are going to resume their home buying plans. So that's going to bring, you know, coupled with immigration, coupled with pent up demand, just, just a lot of buying back into the marketplace. For sure. You know. All of those things that you, those factors that you mentioned, having a new baby, running out of space or retiring, yeah. they start to totally outweigh the interest rate problem that people have. Well, there's, you know, there's that huge exogenous shock of the interest rates, For sure. right? That uh, generally, um, you know, take six to nine months to absorb. And, you know, if you think about it, we're, we're in that nine month Ten, frame frame, yeah, right? We're beyond it. And in October, we saw volumes rise in our operation, yeah. um, you know, uh, quite significantly. And I, I think you're starting to see, uh, I, I guess the beginning of the end of the big slowdown. Okay. And I find I get stuck in looking at it like monthly or mm -hmm. seasonally and looking at those trends because normally this time of year 
the inventory goes down, 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 down until January. But yeah, you do have to, like you said, zoom out and look, okay, it's gonna go up five, six, seven percent. You have to draw the average line and, and pull out all the crazy parts in the graph because it, it'll drive you mad and you can't get a clear answer. Exactly. Well, that's youth versus maturity, let's say. There you go. Day to day. Oh. There you go. You can see the dichotomy. Exactly. Well, that's a great answer. Well, thank you very much for coming on and uh, giving us some of your wisdom. Okay. Thanks for having me.